has James ever watched The Dirty Dirty? It sounds like some sort of like series on Netflix or something. <laughs> Have you lost your virginity? How big is your <laughs> What is up guys, how is it going? And welcome back to the channel, back to the social distancing. We're actually in a new location. We're yeah. under this like, it's like a tree hut almost. It's, yeah, it's just loads of leaves everywhere. It's just leaves everywhere and this is... It's like this a is, hut made out of leaves. This is our outdoor now filming area. Now the video that we did the other week, we went through James's Instagram DMs and I think you 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 really nah, enjoyed yeah, that, I didn't enjoyed you? That video, yeah. Like you just got so many <laughs> compliments. I bet too many compliments. I mean, it's natural that I'm going to get compliments. Today we're going to be asking my brother James questions you're too afraid to ask guys. We asked you on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram to submit in some questions and this is what you asked. Are you ready? I'm ready. The first one. Wow. Okay, this is really <laughs> If I ask you something and it's a bit too revealing or whatever, you don't have to answer it. You can say no comment. Uh, okay, right. Would you rather someone who's never done it or someone who's done it heaps? I mean, I don't really care either way, really. Like, so you, you wouldn't mind? No, either way, I'm easy. It's more, it's more about, I suppose, the person. Yeah, yeah. And that if you get on with them and you really like each other, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, I'm not, not going to do things with someone I don't get on with. <laughs> Like, like, I'm not gonna walk, I'm not gonna like, you know what I mean? Okay, so the next one. That was, that was a pretty tough one to go yeah. off of the bat. So, okay, the next one. Is James faking not liking food or is he actually that fussy? People are getting triggered I'm actually by that your fussy. Fussiness. I can't help what I don't like. You can't, you can't control what you do and don't like. Just, I'm not just gonna shove something down my throat if I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit there and eat butter if I don't like it. I'm not gonna you, do it. If you come near with me butter, yeah, we are gonna have an issue. If I don't like saying I'm not eating it, straight up. <laughs> okay, next one. Are you into hot chicks or do you care that they have to be kind? Oh no, hot ones, hot ones. Okay, what if someone's attractive but they got the worst personality in the world? Well, I mean... Right, if I saw Evie, and you know, as beautiful as she is, I was like, oh my God, she's so hot. And then I spoke to her and she was just horrible to me or she was just not my type whatsoever. I wouldn't then be with her now, would I? But what if it's the best you could get? If you're not going to get on with them, then you're not going to press it. That's why you wear earplugs. How many girlfriends have James had and what was the longest relationship you've been in? Well, I mean, I usually get bored. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. So longest was like, I mean, I got bored after like a month. And what, 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 when you mean bored, is it they're just like, like you're- I just you're, got bored of being around them. I think you're too young no, I just got and bored immature of, No, I just got bored the... of being around them. It wasn't as fun. Like they, they can't take banter, they can't- <laughs> Me and Evie have banter all the time. I think you were just maybe too young to like be in a relationship and that's I, fine. I just got bored. I wouldn't want to be in a serious relationship at 17, I must admit, like oh, I would you know not. What I mean, I've got things to do. So I've got how, to live my life. How many, girl, how many girlfriends have you had, would you say across your you know, dating time. You're 17 five now. Or six. Five or six. Nice. Not too many. And what was low. what was your shortest relationship? A month. One day. <laughs> nah, no, you said the longest was a month. Well, yeah, but they've all lasted about a month, literally three to four weeks. <laughs> I remember That's it, my goal. I remember in school, like primary school, someone would walk up to someone and go like, "Excuse me, would you go out of me?" And then they go, "Yeah, okay." By lunchtime, they go, uh, oh. "Yeah, so Sophia, she's dumped you now." And then, <laughs> <laughs> You'd get your friend to go up to them and say, oh my God, this literally brings out so many mirrors. Like, I don't know whether this happened with you, but like, say if I was friends, like my, my, my guy friends and then the girl who I like, she's got girlfriends. I would get one of my guy friends and say, can you go and ask my girl for a cuddle? And he would go up to her and say, by the way, Ollie wants a cuddle. And the girl would come over and like, then give you a cuddle. It was like it's the most awkward thing ever. <laughs> Next one. If James had to have kids, how many would you have and what genders would they be? One and a boy and I named him and I name him James Jr. James Jr. Yeah. You're And ideally I'd pick him up when he's a teenager. What do you mean pick him up when he's a teenager? Well, one, I don't want to put up with the crying, the in the the constant the constant neediness. But James, that's what's having a baby's all about. Like I don't want to be getting woken up at five in the morning, three in the morning. But then what's your what, what's your wife or your girlfriend gonna have to do? Obviously, you can't just let her do all the work. Like your your yeah, I'll look after I'll look after parent. him in the day, and she can have the night shift. <laughs> 
How do you guys, wait, how do you guy who have never had their first kiss know how to actually kiss when it when the time comes? It's just instinct, isn't it? Kiss the mirror. It's just instinct. Do you kiss the mirror? No, it was just instinct to me, you know? <laughs> I just knew what to do. James kisses the mirror, has a little kiss on his hand. <laughs> it goes up to the mirror and goes, hey baby girl, how's it going? Oh, so, nah, 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 I just, my name's James. I just get the job done if I was doing it. James White, I got some Instagram followers. And your Half lips, a million. Your, li your lips are looking fine. I got some Carmex on them. I'd love to give you a like, right, smooch right now, no, innit? Save family lamb, innit, bread bin. That's and then you go in for the kiss. Nah, you just get the job done. <laughs> you just walk up to her like, yo. But if you don't ask, then well, no, how you do you- Well, ask first, obviously. Okay, what's he saying? Excuse me, please, may I have a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> nah, you just tell by the situation, You You would text, you'd be like, Oi, in it, yeah? So I'm about to walk up. Is it all right if I have a kiss? <laughs> no. And then, and then you'd see her and you'd be like, all right. Uh, you know that text I sent you like five minutes ago? Sharp, right? man. Uh, is it still all right if I kiss you now? Sharp, man. <laughs> no, you can just tell by the situation, in it, if, they, if she wants it or not. Right, okay. Is it better if the girl makes the first move? Oh yeah, the girls are too confusing, man. With their mind games. I, I'm not, I'm their not, mind I'm not, games I'm not, not going to lie, girls are... They think they're but sick I, with their I, mind the games thing, and that, trying the thing to trick is, us though, and get us in trouble. The thing is though, if we were girls, we'd probably say the exact same thing about guys. No, but do you not agree with their mind games? They try, they try and trick us and catch us out with their mind games. But I think that is... They, yeah, you can go out with your mates when they mean no, you can't come out with your mates, you're staying <laughs> home. That's what they really mean. I think, I think also that's like, a, like an age thing. Like when you get older, Games and like me, things no, no, become less and less because no, you don't need to like play games. That is what they do, innit? They they want to act like the good guy when really they're the bad guy. When they when they say things like, "Yeah, you can go out and have fun," they mean, "No, you can't have fun." You're I think most here. of it though, they're tr they're trying to test you. They're trying to see whether it's more important for you to see that your mates, or it's more important to hang out with your girlfriend. My mates were in my life a lot longer, lo a lot longer than you they, she was. So, <laughs> how old were you when you had your first proper kiss? Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. What, were you like, were you just peck someone or? Nah, proper. My God. It was in detention. <laughs> what? Yeah. Wait, how did that happen? We were playing spin the ball and it just came up. What, you, wait, wait, hold on a minute. You're in detention. How many people were in detention? Five. The teacher walked out, he came in, registered us, and then he was like, all right, it's only a half an hour detention, I'm going to go out. God, it was a quick half an hour, spin the ball, get a smooch in and then go. Yeah. <sighs> Have you lost your virginity? Wait, no, I can't read. I don't, um, no comment. <laughs> Mate, you make me laugh so much. Girl with makeup or no makeup? Well, it depends. Oh, I nearly caught myself out. That's like another one of their mind games. Why? Like when a girl says, do I look good with makeup? If you say yes, that means you're saying they don't look good without makeup. They're mind no, games. If you, no, no. You've got to think about it. No, if you're saying that they could look good with, with makeup, that doesn't mean they look good. No, but that, if I just said that, if I said that a girl with makeup, they'd be said, oh, so you're saying you don't like girls without makeup. They're tricking me. They're trying to get me into a position. They're mind games, you know. You've got to think twice. Trick question. I mean, I, I, I definitely don't think as far as that, but like, I guess you've had mind games done it's on mind you. Mind games. <laughs> Next one. Is it okay if a girl is insecure about herself? I mean, it's normal, yeah. Most are. I mean, I mean, most people are like insecure about at least one thing. Yeah. You know. I mean, like, I'm not, but most people are. I'm just perfectly happy with myself. But I can see why some people are like there, there are is most, definitely most people there are. is definitely things you're insecure about. I'm not insecure about anything. I genuinely not. You can't act like you're not insecure about anything because you you've told me you are. No, not anymore. <laughs> Do you guys get along at home, or is it just for the camera? I don't even like you. I mean, I don't, I'm not that too keen on you. Of course we get along. What are you talking about? I wouldn't like, spend this much time with him if I didn't. So. Yeah, I have to put up with this time. Like, this is like serious dedicated. No, of course we get along. Like, he's my brother. Why would we not? Have you ever been through, uh, you know, things like depression or anxiety? And like, if you did, like, how have you got over them? I mean, I don't know. Like, probably anxiety, yeah, but I just use CBD now to help me with it. Do you get anxious a lot or? No, it's just like I get certain like, situations. Anxiety for me is like a big, a big thing. I get this like rush. Like, do you ever get this like rush in sometimes, your like, chest? Yeah. yeah, sometimes. And then I just like feel like so panicked and no, worried. My, and just, my, like, leg, my leg starts going. Your leg starts going? Yeah, like I can't control it. It will start like. Is that anxiety though? I don't know. It happens whenever 
whenever I'm getting stressed and that as well. I mean, that might be a part of it. I mean, you've been using CBD for how long now? Like a month? Uh, yeah, about that, I think. Yeah. And how has that helped you? I mean, I'm calmer, calmer than ever. Yeah, I mean, hasn't really done this, hasn't done it much. Yeah, I mean, whenever I feel like properly anxious and I feel like really nervous about stuff, I'll always like top up with CBD. I have it in the morning, have it in the evening. And if I do feel like really stressed or anxious at any point, I have some more. And it, it just makes me feel like so much more like balanced and calm and just like have a clearer like focus and head rather than just being like all over the place, just like scatty and just being like crazy. Yeah. Has James ever watched The Dirty Dirty? What's the, dirty, the dirty, dirty dirty? I mean, it, is that just relating it sounds to... like some sort of like series on Netflix or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why do guys cheat on girls? Like what goes through their head when they do it? I don't like, I think I they just get never, a bit bored of the relationship. I would never, ever cheat. I just wouldn't. It's just, it's what just not drunk? me. But or like, what if you, what? But that's just what not, it's just not an excuse. What if gave you a pass to do it? I mean, I don't know. Like, say if you went to, like, for example, say if you went... I wouldn't to, want to do... Why, say if you went to, like, I, a music festival, like... But why would I want to? I'm, like, incredibly happy in my relationship. Like, why would I want to potentially ruin that? And, like, if you were in love with so a girl, right... might not find out. James, if you were in love with a girl yeah. and she went off and got with a guy, you would be furious. You've even told me before, I'd when you've got... liked a girl, when you've liked a girl and then they've gone with your best mate or one of your mates, you, you were literally done. So imagine being in love with that person for like years and then them going doing that, it would break your heart, mate. Like the best thing to do is if you're, if you're, if you're genuinely not like in love or you don't like each other, like you have to either try and work on that relationship or if it's really not working, break up and then you can find love again. Don't like ruin, ruin someone and break someone's heart by just cheating on them because you're bored. Like that's- But they're gonna get upset if you break up with them. Would you be less upset if Evie broke up with you compared to her cheating on you? I mean, yeah, I'd be like mortified if she cheated on me. Okay. Because that's like, that's like going behind someone's trust, yeah. isn't it? True. It's like, it's, it's going behind someone's yeah. back, behind their trust. If, if she broke up with me, well, then I hope that we would be able to fix our relationship and we'd be able to like talk it through and like manage whatever yeah, it is yeah, and yeah, then yeah, we'd yeah. be happy. But like, if you just cheat on someone, you, you've, you've ruined it instantly. Like there's, True. there's, you know, most, like sometimes like people forgive, but like they always, they never ever forget that like, someone's cheated. I just think forgive and forget, it? James. Everyone deserves you... a second chance. That's all but I'm going to say. But James, saying. James, right? If that happened to you though, right, let's just say this. No, if that happened to me, yeah, I wouldn't be going after the, the girl. The girl would be fine. I'd be going after the boy, the man. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You're going to go be after angry. the boy? I, I wouldn't be angry with the girl. I'd be angry with the man. Yeah, but James, no. What are you talking about? If you are with, right, how would that guy, that guy ha doesn't know you, doesn't know the girl, has n no idea of the situation, right? If you're, still no, 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 James. If your girlfriend got with a guy, it is her fault and only on her. The guy, it's just like an ordinary guy. You, you, wouldn't, you, wouldn't, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't get your anger towards the guy. You wouldn't want to... If he knew or he was one yeah, of my mates. If he was like one of your mates. If he was one of my... Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's different. You've, you've talked about it. If it was like a random guy, your girlfriend's gone out, gone to a pub, got with a random guy, and then you're like, nah, girlfriend, it's absolutely fine. I'm going to go beat up this guy. No, mate. No, it's your I'm girlfriend's saying, fault. In, I'm saying if like you knew him and he I mean, yeah, you. obviously that's a completely yeah. different story. Oh, yeah, yeah no, mean, no, if it was just, if, we, if he didn't know me, then yeah, it's the girl's fault. How do you know when to get into a serious relationship? I mean, you don't, it just happens. Just, just naturally happens. Just, I think like being like friends and like good friends to start with and like building up that relationship is probably the best. I mean, I've never really been friends with a girl. What? I've never been friends with a girl. It's always just got serious like that. Damn, you're serious then. Yeah. You can't really have the same sort of banter as I would have with like. Yeah, yeah but James is a different It's a different kind of friendship, and no, also, I, I yes, you can have banter with girls. You clearly okay, don't have okay, the right okay, so girl if I, friends. If I, to... Yeah, but for example, if I was friends with a girl. Oh yeah, you're not gonna be like, oh by the way, have you seen that new Call of Duty meme? Yeah, no, she's no, not gonna no, be but interested I can't in that. Turn but... around and be like, oh shut up, you dickhead to her. But if I said that to Fabian, he'd be like, ha ha ha. Why? Yeah, but why would you not be able to say that to her? If she well, says they, that, they get they probably get all salty and cry about it. But if she says that to you and you have that relationship. Like, mate, you could say that to a guy and they'd be like, all right then, go on then, I'll beat you up, go on then, you want some? But like, it's about, your, it's about the relationship and the friendship that you have. Right, next one. Have you ever been to a cinema alone to watch a film? Yeah. Well, yeah. Who hasn't? I've never. So you've never wanted a little break from everyone? You've never wanted a little hour, three hour break, go to the cinema? <laughs> Not no, on my one, own. No, no one knows where you are. No. No one knows, no one knows what you're doing. No. I have many times. <laughs>
<laughs> I love that though, fair enough. Do you get awkward when Evie and me are close and it's just three of us in the room? Well, yeah, more <laughs> awkward when you do it in the lift. Oh no, that sounds weird. Why don't we do it in... <laughs> It sounds like we're doing it in the lift and we're making you watch. <laughs> you know what I mean, innit? You know what I mean? I didn't what mean do you that. Mean doing it in the lift. Like what do when you you're mean? like like doing the passionate thing. <laughs> but you realise that's me being Do you know what I remember in the lift? We you would say get... to me, sorry James, me and Eva just being passionate. Yeah, right, okay, that's what <laughs> we need to clear that up. Yeah, I mean it's like a joke that like I try and make James feel awkward sometimes but like me and Evie are just like cuddling and me he's just like, looking at me and I'm like don't worry James me and Evie are just being passionate oh, yeah, yeah. and then he's like okay just like looks at the floor <laughs> why do you boys put their hands down their pants you'll be a perfect person to explain that keeps your hands warm and sometimes you get that's an itch. gross mate all right I can I can fair, fair enough you you know you're a bit itchy maybe sometimes do it, you get like a little edge maybe sort it out. yeah but maybe do it through your boxes or like I never thought about doing it through my boxes. I actually didn't think about doing it like that. You literally put your hands down your things and then you'll probably be like eating a pack of wine gums. <laughs> Hold on a minute, let me just scratch my balls. And then you get some wine gums out. Oh yeah, I've got some Teresa. Well, like, Hold on a minute, let me have another scratch. Get the, get the Teresa meat out. They are out. very clean. You, you want a wine they're gum? They're very dude? clean. Man, that's made me feel they're, a bit well, sick. They're very clean, so. Why do you guys ghost so many girls all the time? I mean, because we're quite busy at the moment playing Warzone. Like, we've got priorities here. Right. We've got so to that... get the win. When I don't get at least one win in a week, I haven't had a good enough week and I'm angry with myself. It's like I'm a professional football team, but for Warzone, and there's no footballs or running about, just me playing with a controller. And I don't get paid I like think, I, think, I, I, I think that's like a clear explanation that you need to get a life. <laughs> well, have you, have you got eight wins? No, I have eight wins. No, but I've bought a house, you know. But do you have eight wins? <laughs> No, I don't. I, exactly. I'll, I'll have to get up to I'm your level, mate. I'm top 6% mate. on the Warzone needleboards. Top 6%. There's 94% people below me. I'm nearly in the top 1%. Nice. What is the most embarrassing thing you've done to impress someone? I actually haven't done that embarrassing thing to try and impress people. It wasn't to impress someone, but one time I was running through this field and my mate left his phone on the other side. You know, do you remember when I broke my iPhone once to water damage? I see this river ditch thing and I see, I see like this sort of solid looking thing. I, I go to run across it, and as I'm running across it, I realise it's a lake and there were leaves that I saw and I fell into the river. But as I'm falling, I realise I'm falling and I tried to throw the phone across the river, but I miss and it hits the side of the river and then falls in with me. So, so basically you just dropped your mate's phone in the river? Yeah, but oh. if like when I was falling in the river, I felt like it was like slow motion, like I was like Tom Cruise <laughs> or something. What are your honest thoughts on me being a YouTuber? I mean, it's all right, it's good. Is that it? Yeah, it's good. Fair enough. Thoughts. <laughs> it is that. Uh, it's me on a burger being eaten by a mouth, but the le the person's legs are wider. <laughs> I saw I this. I didn't even think that was you. I thought that was someone else. I it doesn't look this. anything like and you. And I was like, oh my God. Do you think guys and girls can be just friends? Oh no. You can never just be friends. Yes, always, they can. It always turns into more than just friends. Even if it's not a relationship, yeah. just friends will eventually, you'll eventually see each other at party okay. and then you'll be friends I'll with I'll just benefits. say this, for anyone that does actually want genuine good advice, when you're younger, you tend to only have like the thoughts of like girls or, you know, boys, you know, being either friends or being someone that friends with you benefits. need to... No! I was thinking someone that you want to get in a relationship with. But when you get older, you'll realise that you, you can have girlfriends, guy friends. Like, you don't have to put a label on it. Why is Ollie such a <laughs> That's funny. Has James ever got drunk with his mates? No comment. Don't I mean, I'm no pretty comment. sure you had a couple of beers last night and you were falling over. No, I wasn't falling over. I was, I was walking straight in a straight line. Yeah, so basically, like, if you get one win on Warzone and then my mate gets three, <laughs> We are basically in the top 9% of Call of Duty in the world. I'm top 6% like, in the whole world. If you then minus that by 4%, it's 13%. So basically, we're, we're top 20% in the world, I'm top, I'm, I'm above the top 20. I'm top 6%. Right. How big is your <laughs> Honestly, 6 inches. Actually, no. That, no, not 6 inches. <laughs> Sorry, wait, I got that wrong. Wait. The it's thing eight. is, though, people aren't going to know what I asked there, but it wasn't that. It yeah, wasn't it that. that. Well, there we are, guys. That was asking my brother questions you're too afraid to ask, guys. It wasn't too bad, was it? Uh, no, it was all right. 
wasn't too bad. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, and let us know in the comments section below what other videos you'd like to see us do during lockdown. And if you've got any other questions for James, then we may do part a part two. two. We'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye-bye. I think, by the way, if you're, if you're six inches, you might need to go to the, the, the doctors. You might, need to, you might have an infection. <laughs> So his name is Ollie White and he's the best in the land Cause every single video he makes is always gonna be grand Click on his page if you wanna see more He's got more subs than a jail audio store You came in, he's not from down under